Legacy. If I had to leave a legacy, um, if I had to leave a legacy about spirituality and finding your way in life, I would put a very high priority on mental health. Mental health is the dearest thing you have to your own self. And by that I mean you have to find ways to avoid fear. Go back to the words of Jesus. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. The fact is that those words are mentioned 365 times in the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament. So when Jesus said, I've told you all these things that my joy may be in you and your may be, joy may be fulfilled throughout the entire gospel. He's telling you how to be joyful. Do not be afraid. Uh, what is the specific in the Sermon on the Mount? Uh, he, he sort of warns you against worry, needless worry. Do not be anxious. Those are the words I was trying to think of. Do not be anxious. And anxious of, anxiety, of course, is fear. So this is God telling you not to be anxious, which means in when you're in charge of your mental health, the minute fear invades your spirit, you stop it. It's, you spot it. Spot it. I'm being overtaken by a, a nervous anxiety. Like a nervous symptom can cause panic. But Panic can be terminated quickly, the sooner the better, with a, a thought like, this is a nervous symptom, it's not dangerous. Nervous symptoms are very common, but they're not dangerous. Now this is, a, is a, an approach to mental health taken by a Jewish psychiatrist named Dr. Abraham Lowe, who wrote the book uh, Mental Health Through Will Training. It came in handy for me when I was young and I had more anxieties <clears throat> than I do now, but it, it's guided me through life in my counseling and other experiences. So I think it sounds like you'd want to advise a young person to get their spirituality straightened out. I would say you would put mental health first, saving your soul of course is first, but in the process of saving your soul, work on mental health which is basically trusting God's love and terminating fear.